Hello, and welcome to another Advanced Rheumatology and Arthritis Research Center anti-inflammatory cooking class. I am Rosemary Altimus, on-site nutrition counselor. Today, we will be making pan-roasted halibut with turmeric brown butter and broccoli with pine nuts from the Michael Simon cookbook, Fix It With Food. This recipe and our other cooking classes can be found on our webpage, advancedrheumatology.net under wellness services. They can also be seen on our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest cooking classes, forums, and disease lectures. Remember to tick the notification button for when new videos are posted. Let's begin. We're going to take the halibut and we need to uh, pat it dry before we put it into the skillet. And we want the skillet to be really very warm. So I'm preheating the skillet on uh, high heat. And to that, we're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil. That looks like two tablespoons. And also, we're going to add four tablespoons of the unsalted Kerrygold butter. This is an excellent butter. Um, it comes from Ireland, and it's made with the milk of, of a grass, grass-fed cattle. that melted. <clears throat> okay. The uh, fish that we're going to be cooking today is halibut. You can use a white fish, a cod if you wanted to, or any kind of white fish. A delicate, more delicate fish um, is better for this recipe. Okay. Um, let this melt. I'm breaking it up so that it would melt faster. I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the things we're going to be putting in here today. We're going to be using turmeric, which is an anti-inflammatory er, uh, uh, herb, and we're going to be using um, ginger, too. When you use turmeric and at any time you want to add black pepper, we're going to be adding that with our uh, halibut today. It's going to go into at the end of the um, end of the recipe. But um, when you use when you use turmeric, you use black pepper because it activates the anti-inflammatory properties of the um, herb. Okay. And as far as halibut goes, halibut is from the Atlantic Ocean. This is wild wild, wild caught halibut. Um, <clears throat> it's a larger fish. Um, it's a flat fish and it's found in the Atlantic Ocean. Um, halibut is a great source of selenium, um, which is a powerful antioxidant. Okay, we're getting heated up here. And um, it repairs damaged cells. It can, can it decrease inflammation. It's also an important mineral, uh, mineral for your thyroid. Um, selenium is. Halibut provides the body with niacin, which helps the heart and, and if you have heart disease. Um, it has phosphorus in it, which helps build bones and regulate your metabolism um, with a regular heartbeat. And it also contains magnesium. We're getting hot here. This is good. Which, which uh, the body needs and requires for more than 600 reactions in the body, especially muscle movement. Magnesium helps the body with that. And vitamin B12, we know, which is essential in red blood cell formation and proper nervous system function. Halibut is a high quality source of the all important omega-3 fatty acids, which help to reduce inflammation as well. Okay. Let's dry, let's add our halibut to the skillet and start cooking. I'm gonna put the skin side down. We're gonna start with that. And one's a little bit bigger than the other, but you want at least an eight ounce piece of fish, six to eight ounces. And we're gonna leave some space between here and we're gonna let this cook. So let's just let this sit for a couple minutes and cook and then we'll give it a flip. Um, the other uh, recipe we're going to be preparing today is a roasted broccoli with a lemon and pine nuts. Um, broccoli, of course, again, is a uh, cruciferous vegetable. 
It is anti-inflammatory. So you want to include those kind of vegetables in your diet, in the anti-inflammatory diet. Lemon is added to both of these recipes. Lemon is very good. It alkalines the body. Um, it's, a, it's a citrus fruit, which is also very good for you, helps your liver, cleanse your liver. Um, the pine nuts are, you're allowed to have nuts. They're very flavorful. They add a lot of flavor to this, the uh, broccoli dish. And it's also been roasted in olive oil, which is a good anti-inflammatory oil that you should be using. Okay. The, the, the fish is cooked about three minutes on the skin side. We're going to give it a flip. Hopefully. And it's a gold, getting golden brown. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now to this, we're going to be adding our ginger. This is a half a teaspoon of powdered ginger. I'm gonna add it to this side. And then our anti-inflammatory turmeric, we're gonna add with that ginger. We're gonna give this a little stir. And we're gonna baste the fish with these garlic and ginger, or I mean garlic, turmeric and ginger. Three minutes has passed. We've been basting the fish. And we're gonna add a little bit of uh, the juice of one lemon and our black pepper. Remember the black pepper will activate the turmeric to make it more anti-inflammatory. When fish is cooked, it becomes opaque. And we'll just take a look at that and see what we have here. Looks like it's getting pretty cooked. You don't want to overcook the fish. I'm going to flip it over. And you can tell by this one, it is get, becoming opaque inside. When I flipped it, you can see that it's cooked, almost cooked through. This bigger one might be a little, take a little more time to cook through, but we'll give it a flip. And continue with the butter. And now it has the lemon in it and the black pepper. I'll take a look at the inside of this. This one needs to cook a little more. It's a little thicker. While we were preparing our halibut, I had the broccoli in a 450 degree oven roasting. And now we're going to put the dressing on it, which is a shallot and some olive oil and some lemon juice. I toasted some pine nuts, takes about four minutes, and there's about a tablespoon and a half of pine nuts, and we're gonna add those to this broccoli mi uh, mixture. If you've never had pine nuts, they're really very delicious. They're buttery flavor. 
And now we're going to plate up our, our meal today with our pan seared halibut with turmeric ginger and our broccoli roasted oven roasted broccoli with the pine nuts some lemon this is a great anti-inflammatory meal. Thank you for watching this month's anti-inflammatory cooking class. Today we prepared pan roasted halibut with turmeric brown butter and broccoli with pine nuts, an easy and light anti-inflammatory dish for lunch or dinner. Please follow us on Facebook as well as our YouTube channel. Remember, a healthy outside starts from the inside.